He's doing fine. He had a negative x-ray, so, you know, I'm, I'm assuming he'll just get better and better as the week goes. Cash rolls out today, is he all right? Yeah, he's okay. He'll be back. Will Poyer be catching punts this weekend then? Yeah, probably. Yeah, Poyer talked about, uh, you know, how he said he would never miss a game or something like that. Just about that, that competitiveness. Oh, I think that's one of Jordan's biggest commodities is his competitiveness. I mean, everything that he does, always in practice, I, th I think that's how he lives. There was nothing serious with Gavin. Yeah, he's got a he, he had a surgery a year ago and it's kind of uh, his knees just a little tender. It's just pain. Uh, everything else is good with it, I think. How's Sean look today? Sean looked good. Yeah, he's got a live arm. He's had rest for a little while, so his arm's pretty lively. When you guys, when you decided to bring it back, I mean, what did you see? I mean, I know initially they announced, you guys announced maybe a month of us wouldn't give you out, but what, I guess, did you see out of him and said, hey, this guy can play again right away? Well, the first thing we got was information from the doctors, you know, that he was, he was actually cleared a week ago. And uh, so once we get that, you know, then, you know, we, it was a little late in the week to even think about him starting, and I, I thought Cody was ready and obviously did a good job, but, uh, uh, you know, then we had a decision to make after that. What, was Cody under the impression that maybe he could win that starting job away? And I think he always is, yeah. Should be. Good to have that kind of competition even going on. Absolutely. It's always good. It's always good to have, you know, and I think it, I've always thought that, but it's always good to have what you think two guys that can win. Not too many teams do. Mike, you talked this morning about being able to enjoy the ride with your perspective and whatnot. Is that just after games, after wins, or is it kind of interesting? You know what? The week? I, I, I think that uh, I'm truly one of them. I think my favorite time of the week is practice time. Right. You know, I think I, so I really do enjoy this part of the day. And I, I, and I truly, you cannot really stay in this business if you don't enjoy the process. John, because it's it's just too much time. I mean, you you drive yourself nuts. You know, we spend lots of hours each day, kind of getting ready for the next day's practice. So, if you don't enjoy that part, then you're going to be miserable in this business. Now you guys a bit more pep in the step for the guys, knowing that they're going to go to a bowl game regardless. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything different, you know. I and that shouldn't, you know. We're we're halfway through the year, you know, so it's 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 way too early to be dramatic about that. They should have pep in their step anyway. I mean, we've got a lot to play for this weekend. You seen anything from Washington as to why they're struggling these past few games here? Well, I don't I don't know that, uh, you know. I know they had a rough weekend, but they've been playing and. Uh, some of the toughest places in the country, t toughest teams. I mean, LSU, USC, Oregon, Stanford. I mean, they've had a heck of a schedule. So this is a talented football team that beat Stanford. So, uh, you know, we expect another very, very tough game. They play a little bit better at home? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do you remember what it was like going to CenturyLink last season? Yeah, I loved it. Great venue. Uh, we ended up lucky with a beautiful night, you know, a big time storm all day long and everybody was predicting, you remember that? Yeah. Everybody was thinking this is gonna be a mess and it was a perfect night, no wind. It almost felt like we were indoors. I, and I love the stadium, it's a, it's a great place. It's kind of cool for the guys to play in an NFL stadium, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think it is, you know, it's a, it's a great venue and we play in a lot of great venues. It, it's, it's fun to travel and play in new stadiums and as long as you win. What is, uh, have you seen from Price? You know, recently he's kind of had a tendency to turn the ball over. He's thrown some interceptions, fumbles, especially going up against your defense. That seems like that's. Some... You know, Phil, I think he's a good quarterback. He's an experienced quarterback, and, and we just got to get ready for what they do with him. As far as the night game, another night game for you guys, changing anything, or do you guys like playing at night? Uh, I don't. I think the players like it. You know, I don't, but it doesn't matter. Nobody asks me about it. Uh, I, it's just a long time to wait, but I think our players really enjoy it, and, and uh, I think we're going to have three in a row last week, this week, the next week. So that's going to be that's going to be the rest of our life in this deal, you know, because we're going to be told a couple weeks in advance what time we're going to play, and that's that's it. So uh, we you you got to get to the point where you don't care. You're just going to say, okay, here we come.
Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks Coach. guys. Thanks.